Welcome back to Oahu, everybody. And now it's time, Tommy, to check out the quarterbacks, the Pro Bowl quarterbacks. It's on the mark, presented by Campbell's. And uh, the question is, will it be soup yet? Well, you know, I hope we're going to have a great competition. I think the difference from last year when we had the moving targets is this year, the quarterbacks are actually going to be on the move. There you go. Well, here are the rules now. The rules for on the mark. Now, each player completes four stations, throwing at four targets. The player who crosses the finish line with the best time wins. Time bonuses will be awarded for passing accuracy. Everything involved here in on the mark. We begin with a guy who was on the mark. You talk about quarterbacks on the move, and that would be Michael Vick of the Atlanta Falcons, Tom. If this has anything to do with speed, <laughs> Michael will do all right in this, won't he? You would think so. So they got to complete two balls at each station. Oh, Ooh, hit the top. Right there. Ah. So Michael Vick's total time with the additions and subtractions for the accuracy, 12.1. And now up from the NFC runners up, Carolina Panthers, Jake, daylight come and you got a Delhomme. Daylight here in Hawaii. A little high, and you can see exactly like a tennis court, Tom, where the serve goes in. Yeah. Pretty good. You want to hit the bullseyes. Jake throwing on the move. Oh, that was the miss, and now the last one on the move. Interesting, that was, that was the best throw he yeah, had again on the it, move. It, it, it's very interesting when you see these guys and they sit in that pocket versus when they're attacking the line of scrimmage. And you get the sense that all of them, you know, to some extent are used to having to move around, having to be mobile, and then delivering the football. Jake DeLome of the Carolina Panthers on the mark. Score of 12.1. Accuracy, of course, is imperative in this event. We looked at the science of throwing a football from the athlete and the scientist. Here's Trent Green, who Oh, by the way, threw for 4,000 yards this past season for they the Kansas City Chiefs. Right. Well, that's a two right away. And that's a four. Oh, there you go. There's a bullseye. Okay. Oh. <laughs> all right, a little low, that's but right, he's hit some right. bullseyes. Oh. That's all right. On the move. Mm. Ah. Be interesting to see his score because he did so well Kansas on the City first couple, Green. and then as he started to get uh, through the course, that's hard uh, to locate. A little, 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 little bit of inaccuracy <laughs> like, at the end. Trent Green, very impressive, on the mark score 8.2. Hey, no spitting on the balls, Hasselbeck. You know what? The winners of each of these events, some of which have com been completed already, like Larry Allen, etc., get sixteen thousand dollars. Wow! Now, why does that amount stick out to you? Well, sixteen thousand for me was my contract, the first was? Uh, yeah, first year salary for the Denver Broncos with a three thousand dollar bonus. Nineteen seventy three. From Louisville. You know what I made the first year at ESPN? What? I trumped you, $16,500. <laughs> 1979. You're going to do the overnight sports center, son. You're going to be on at 3 a.m. It would be 3 a.m. Yeah, but that's 12 o'clock on the West Coast. Here's 16,500. We could have only thrown footballs. We could win 16,000. Here's Whoa, Matt Hasselback. Pretty good. Oh, oh and you yeah. know he's going to be oh, accurate. Yeah. And you know he's also in shape. I mean, in other words, football that's shape. Right. He just that's played right. last week. Needs to hit this one. He did. And he did. And then he needs to hit this one. Uh, nice. Oh, a little high. Ladies and Matt Hasselbeck. I think if he had that one on the fly, he would have taken the lead. 5.8 on the time, Tom. So that, that the, 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 mid the, cons four. the consistency on the first few throws, and I think you bring up a great point. You know, he just played football last weekend. Yes. Well, I tell you what, even though Peyton Manning hasn't played for a few weeks after the Colts were upended by the Steelers, Peyton plays football every week in his mind. I wouldn't underestimate Peyton. Uh, he actually well, was go going the through the course before we ever started, but here we go on the whistle. This will be fun. Right on the two. Right on the bulls. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's high. Uh, 
There's a one. There's a two. Oh, it's a bullseye. I hit this one, Peyton. Oh, it's gonna be very good, impressive. It's going to be a good score, though. That's why he's the best. It's going to be Manning. a good score. 7.9, which means that Matt Hasselbeck, uh, the leader, we won it. Peyton Manning second, Trent Green third, huh? Man, run off. That's it. What are we going to have, run off? Oh, well, Matt, you are very <laughs> modest. How much of a difference do you think it makes that you're the last one of these guys out here who's still been playing ball? Yeah, that's probably that's probably an unfair advantage that I have. I, I was just, uh, what was it, three days ago I was playing. Whatever the reason is, it's uh, I didn't expect to win. It's pretty cool. Congratulations. Thanks, Susie.